Hello again, it's Priscilla Patzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and that is a 12 by 16 inch camera and a whole bunch of palette knives and swipe tools and spatulas. All different, all potentially useful to smear paint or spread paint or swipe paint. And I am going to be, I'm going to try and zoom out a little bit so if I turn my canvas it won't be a problem. So I'm just going to give myself permission to play. And the palette knife I've been enjoying the most has been this one. But those other ones are probably very likely to get some attention very soon. Let me see if I can put down something down over all the nice wet paint I've left on my Lullaby silicone wrap from previous paintings. And uh, just get busy. So I've got some white gloss enamel and I'm going to use it with the black. The black is my regular paint pouring recipe which you can find under the video and it's three quarters flow tall mixed with one quarter GAC 800 by Golden to make the pouring medium mixture and then after that I decide whether I like it or not based on the viscosity and the color saturation and I can if the paint is fluid it can often be 50-50. If it's heavy body, it can be a lot less. If it can be high flow acrylic, it can be a lot less still. But you're going to have to teach yourself how to do this. I'm going to wipe that off because I might want to use it again. And I'm just going to start because I like to do stuff in a weird way. So that is, like I said, gloss enamel. And I'm just using it to fill in and spread gray where I still had blank canvas. Now I really want to take some flow troll and use it to swipe with also. I may have more paint on this canvas than I actually want, in which case what I do, not only do I wipe off my spatula or my, excuse me, my palette knife, but I wipe it off in a little dish. Now, I never do anything the same way twice, or at least not very often. So I'm just going to give myself permission to play and see where it takes me. I may leave marks behind. I may use the paint that's on my palette knife. I may tip. I may scuffle. I'm definitely going to try and keep scraping off my palette knife because I think I put too much paint on the background. I'm looking for the neon pink because I can. I've got some nice cells happening here. I could even take the paint in the little dish and dribble it. And I've got an airbrush, which since I learned how to turn the machine on is definitely calling to me a vast amount of time. Now that is the Venetian blue, which is an iridescent metallic. I'm knocking my bottles over. And it usually disappears, but evidently by spreading it, I get to keep some. I'm going to grab my sponge, which I've been using to clean off my tile recently. Just take my excess paint right off of there. Now I'm not, I'm just beginning to get the hang of playing with the palette knife. To tell you the truth, it's not something I did or thought a lot about before 
Gail Burston started playing with it and smearing things. So thanks again, Gail. I like that white there. <laughs> I wish I hadn't got rid of it. I've got a little bit of Anita's white metallic left, which is a nice, nice thing to sell. Or to create cells, I should say, when it's working. I'm trying to be very light-handed with my spatula, with my palette knife spatula. Um, just because I don't want to scrape down to canvas. I don't know what's going to come of anything. But I have seldom given myself permission to just play with the bottles. And never with the bottles and a palette knife that I can remember. Well, maybe just like the day before yesterday, actually. Yeah, that goes down to canvas, but I think that's also something that's going to sell. Speaking of sell, ha! Good segue. My email address is below the link tree. Should you ever happen to want or have an interest in making a purchase, that is the best way to support the studio in the production of videos that I can think of. By making a purchase, and all that's required Yes, I am. Just dragging it right through there, making some cool texture. Um, ha! Completely lost my train of thought. Go figure. This is not the way I did my last painting with the palette knife. And I have got to stop eradicating all my white. I want some back, <laughs> and I think it has to be a different white, so I'm going to go over here, and it's open. And I'm going to tip a little, because I like what happens when I tip and add bottle colors, or colors from bottle. I bottle. Can't speak. I have some, do I, some folk art purple flash. I believe this is a mica powder that I've had kicking around for a long time. And there's also some mica powder, all kinds of mica powders actually, on my Amazon link, which is under the link tree, under show more. I've been enjoying dragging things a lot recently. This is looking awfully dark. Just makes me want to put white throughout. But things are looking a little more flowery than I thought they were going to, so I'm going to go ahead and follow my instincts. And just keep playing with things. Bring that white back again. And just have some fun. Making funky, funky shapes. Because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link. I want an edge catcher, and I have one, but I have a feeling it's got paint on it. Maybe it's got yesterday's paint on it, and that would be okay with me. So I saw that white run, and I liked the look of it. But it kind of made me think I should have something in there. And I was thinking black, but I couldn't lay my hands on it, so it's Prussian blue. And that's okay with me. I'm 
because I love experimenting with new shapes. I am having a good time. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. You give me great, great feedback and you keep my morale boosted and thank you so much for that. I like that it looks like a lionfish up in the corner, like suddenly all of this is ocean oriented. Just pull a few things right through. Pull a few th stripes from the wet paint into the dry. With the palette knife. Not sure I like those as much as I was thinking I would. But I'm also not done yet. I have some magenta. There it is. With iridescent pearl fine in it. No matter which way I put my fresh paint, it should run in its own direction. I've got some Arteza, Tangerine. I am having a good time. I'm just making, making patterns and adding colors and thank you guys for joining me. Did I say that already? I probably did. Really appreciate you guys being here. That is the Hot Orchid from Color Art, which I love and have a tendency to want to use too much of. I wonder how thick that paint is up there. In any case, the further I spread things, the more likely I am to be able to spread the next thing without the last thing moving in the wrong direction. But, this is kind of a different way of doing fluid art. And you could probably take a straw to things. We're not mixing them and pouring them, we're just adding them and having some fun. So I'm going to change the orientation of this and find some green gold from folk art color shifting and throw some of that emerald green from folk art color shifting which used to be called oh no <laughs> brain cramp I don't have much of this turquoise left anymore I'm, I'm definitely holding on to some of that I'm being called to add some purple Minty green, that's what it was called. So I'm going to let that go back down over there. I want to kind of let that go right down over the edge because I can cover my edge just like that. Not too muddy. So what else? We're having fun, right? <laughs> I usually like and don't use nearly enough of this fun blue. I sort of gave up on the palette knife for the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm done. I've got some beautiful cells up there. I've got leopard print cells. Come out. No, nope. it's not cooperating. I've got to clean up my studio in the morning. I have a student coming for a couple days. That's awesome. I've got paint to mix. And that's okay because she wants to know how to mix paint. And we'll see if she feels like making a video or not. So you can do all kinds of things when you have your dots. You can, you can scrape and pull through them and use a chain or a basting brush, which I haven't put the basting brush in anything for a little while. 
I still like to take my paint on my skewer and put it down over the edge. You can pretty much do the same exact thing with the palette knife if you're good at it, if you're careful. I can call this some more purple up here. Come out. If you want to, I heard the noise. Sounded like I... <laughs> What should go in there? Maybe some more of that. Everything moves a little bit, but most of it doesn't move very fast at all, except for what I've just added. I think I want some more hot orchid. I hope I'm right too, because that's going to flow. That's some heavy stuff. I should just leave it right like it is, actually. I've got GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures to keep it from cracking and to add some glossiness to the final, final dry artwork. There, I really like those dots. So that was kind of fun. And I told you I sell my artwork and I want a little more white. Okay, that was definitely an oops. And leaving all my bottles in the way is also an oops. So what should I put in there? I think... Maybe... out. Maybe a little bit of everything. I've got turquoise that I didn't use today. Of course it's closed. If it opens I'll use it. Alright, I'll just use the other one. And I hope my torch holds out because I think I'm, it's time for a new tank. It lasts lasted months. And months. That's why I use a propane torch. There. I'm not even going to tip that. Okay, I'm going to torch. I got to tell you guys, I got over 91,000 subscribers, and I really appreciate all of you. And I hope you decide to watch more videos. And if you do, you can check out my all playlists created playlists on my YouTube channel because that is where they're stashed in playlists. 17 playlists of 100 and topic and genre and I think I'm probably going to leave this one pretty quick just the way it is. If you guys are looking to buy an artwork please contact me through my email address easpbgallery the word gallery at gmail.com below the link tree where you can find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Look on the end screen of every video for the exhibition video from that month and you will be able to know what the prizes are if you are a contributor through PayPal or Patreon to keep the studio rolling and I really appreciate that. You will be automatically entered. At the end of the month is when I do the drawing. Hope to see you guys there. I'm thinking about doing a 16 by 20 inch canvas very shortly. Um, it's been a while. I got a box. It really depends on how many entries I get because shipping is not inexpensive. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Doing a little abstract expressionist palette knife bottle combination. I'll be touching up my edges and I will see you guys anon. Wow, that's cool from up here. <laughs> Take her easy. Bye for now.
Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Did I just say that?